Coogan Cassis, Coogan Cassis, IFL TV in association with MTK Global. We're at the First Direct Arena here in Leeds. I'm joined by the Piranha, yeah. Ryan Garner. How are you, mate? All right? Yeah, I'm good. Just had a good little scrap there. Uh, fifth fight, fifth win. Yeah. Um, talk about Four the first round. Just... Looked like you was going to get him out there. I thought I was going to blow him out as yeah. well, but nah, he's, he was tough. Do you know what I mean? He had a good chin on him. I rocked him low. To, and then when, when I rocked him in the first, I was giving him some good body shots on that as well. But like, I've put people down with less harder shots to the body as well and especially with him rock so do you know what I mean he's a durable opponent and it's good learning answer it go on just answer nah, it that's <laughs> just my mate <laughs> nah, it's good learning fights you know what I mean he's durable and that's what you need absolutely and um, he, he become durable and adapted yeah. Yeah. as the rounds went on yeah. you had to adapt a little yeah, bit nah, yeah exactly obviously where that first round it was an explosive round do you know what I mean and then obviously when I come out of the corner Wayne Frank and that and even Frank all on ringside they was all saying boxing more boxing more so I think I had to adapt myself as well as him. So I started, when I started using my jab and I could be on my jab, I think I started to just kept snapping his head back at that. And I think that worked really well as well. Let me draft in Alfie Warren. Come, Come on, Alf. <laughs> All right, Alf. Oh, All right, Alfie. Man. Is this the man to bring the, uh, bring the big time boxing back to Southampton? Yeah, definitely. Without a doubt. I mean, you've got him and Joe Pickford in the same camp. You know, they, we've um, done a couple of small shows down there with Ryan and... Yeah. Um, Joe on there, like his, his last two fights have been in Southampton, yeah. and you know, and I think we're just building the fan base down in Southampton. Them last two fights, you know, what I mean, it was just getting better and better. And I think obviously now I just had a good fight now, and now it's down to Joe next week against Aaron Morgan, and I think he can definitely do the business. And then who knows? Yeah. Hopefully, Frank can, after uh, after these two performances, Frank will start uh, bringing BT and Box Nation down. Yeah, I, re knows? I reckon so. You know, I mean, it's, it's been a great opportunity. It was a great spot for Ryan on BT tonight as well. You mm -hmm. know, in like prime time spot, great time. But you know, he, everyone's got to, got to realise that he's 19 years old, he's still a baby. And you know, I know he gets frustrated sometimes, like he wants to get people out of there and all that, but you can't, listen, you're not going to stop yeah, them all. Exactly. You know, you're not going to stop them all. But I think fights like that, I'll realise that, do you know what I mean? They're learning, so I'll realise I can't get them all out of there. So eventually, do you know what I mean? I'll start saying that. No, exactly. Down. Like you say, That's listen, good. you take your time, and do you know what? I would press me more when he was working off his jab, he was so much more effective yeah, and all that. And that's what you've got to start learning. You've got to start learning to use your jab more and all that. And you know, you need a tough fight. And, and that guy was dangerous because every time he was getting hurt, he was coming on more strong. No, he, was exactly. that, he was that sort of fighter. He's getting matched up really, really well. And he's got a great following down Southampton. And you know, he's, got to, he's gained some, I mean, when, when he walked out and announced him as the winner, even like the Leeds crowd as well cheered him. He had a yeah. great reception after the fight. They appreciated it. And you know, I think honestly, not I don't want to give you a big head, bigger <laughs> head than what you've already got. But I honestly do think that he can become a superstar. And you know, with his style, it's exciting and everything. And I really do what I've been saying for, for ages. I mean, there was like the response that we've got down there from the Southampton shows. I think that he can emulate what Josh Warrington's done up here in Southampton. And between him and Joe Pickford, if Joe Pickford does the business against Aaron Morgan, because that is a tough fight. But I mean, he, if he does that. You know, you've got two stars down there who can put Southampton firmly on the map of boxing without a doubt. Only, only time will tell, eh? Only time will <laughs> tell. So, where did the name Piranha come from, apart from it just named Ryan of Ghana? Well, it, was, no, it was either Ryan the Lion or, I, Ryan, or I, the Piranha I, Ghana. Ryan the Lion? Yeah. That's it, Frank, or that's or, Frank or, Frank or Iron Ryan. Iron Ryan, Iron, Ryan the Lion or the Piranha Ryan, Ghana. Frankie Hopkins come up with Ryan the Lion. He was like, I've got, I've got a Bob Marley song. He's like, <laughs> right. I, he's but, like, I've got a Bob Marley song. Was it all this lot? With, they're singing the line, and I thought that's useless, childish. You know what I mean? People's got it. <laughs> People's got it. But I won't be scared. Of, well, I'll be scared. Of so it's the same. Hopkins the only had to defend himself, but you are a wanker, no, Hopkins, so I've never right? Heard anyone called the Piranha, have you? No, no I haven't. I just... And it rhymes, I think everyone loves it, it's catchy. And what is it? What do we call it? It's feeding time. It's feeding time. <laughs> it's feeding time. <laughs> you know I mean? It's feeding Fight time. We're doing an time. interview here, what's the matter? Here we go, bring him in. Oh, 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 you come down, bash him up. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave that in, I'll leave that in. I can take it on the chin. I can. Oh, oh bricks up, leave off. Stick him in the nose, it's whack a day, Timmy. Leave off, this is about him anyway, yeah. about Eddie Earl or whatever. Anyway, get him. Sorry, this kid's going to be one of the best kids. Ever, I swear to you. Love him to death, but you, shame yourself. <laughs> 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 all right, Alfie, listen, Ryan, congratulations. Yeah, Good win, and uh, yeah. I'm sure we'll catch up with you soon. Right? Thank you, Take care. Go on, mate.